Music is made by combining notes. And one of the hallmarks of Western music is that there are certain combinations of notes that people typically consider to be pleasant and certain combinations of notes that people consider to be unpleasant. Um, and this is true to some extent in, in other musics as well, but it's, it's a very important phenomenon in, in Western music. And so going back thousands of years, people have wondered why it is that some combinations sound good to people and other combinations don't. So scientists have often hypothesized that the preference for consonants over dissonance has a biological basis and that people might be born with it. Ethnomusicologists and composers, in contrast, have typically assumed that consonants is a cultural invention that would be unique to Western listeners who grow up in Western culture. And one of the reasons why this question has remained unresolved is because there's remarkably little experimental data in individuals that don't have massive amounts of exposure to Western culture and Western music. <laughs> So to try to answer this question, we went to a rural part of Bolivia and did some experiments on a society called the Chimane. They're an indigenous society in the Bolivian Amazon rainforest, and they're pretty out of the way. The Chimane live in these villages that are scattered around the Amazon basin, and the ones that are most remote are really hard to get to and pretty far removed from developed Western cultures. So in order to do experiments on them, we brought laptops and headphones and a gasoline generator down to Bolivia and took them with us to these Chimane villages. And the experiments were very simple. We would play them sounds and just ask them to tell us whether they liked them or disliked them. So we would play them either consonant combinations of notes or dissonant combinations of notes. Um, and what we found when we analyzed the data was that in contrast to Westerners who will very consistently tell you that the consonant combinations are pleasant, they like them, and that the dissonant combinations are unpleasant, they don't like them, the Chimane rated them as equally pleasant. So this, this was a pretty striking difference from Western culture. Of course, there's lots of explanations for why they would give you equal ratings for two things. Perhaps they didn't understand the task or something like that. And so we did a bunch of control experiments. And so in contrast to what happens with consonant and dissonant chords, when you ask them to rate recordings of people either laughing or gasping in fear, you find that they respond very similarly to Westerners. So both Westerners and Shimane listeners will tell you that laughter is pleasant and that gasps are unpleasant. So that gave us some confidence that they actually understand the task and that the lack of a difference between consonants and dissonance was not due to some uninteresting factor. So the significance of these results, I think, is that they suggest that the preference for consonants um, is not something that we are simply born with, um, and they're not something that develops as a consequence of just any kind of exposure to natural sounds or to any kind of music. They require exposure to a particular kind of music, namely those that feature harmony, we think. Um, and that's really what we think differentiates the Chimane and these other groups in Bolivia from uh, American listeners.